construction of quadrilaterals. In this module, you will learn about the topic, construction of a quadrilateral. We know that a triangle have three sides and three angles. And to construct a triangle, we require at least three measurement, including sides and angles of a triangle. Now, do you think four measurements would be sufficient to draw a unique four-sided closed figure, namely a quadrilateral? No. As different quadrilaterals can be identified on the basis of their properties of sides, diagonals and angles. Quadrilaterals are made up of 10 parts. However, to construct them, we do not need to know the measurement of all of them. In case of special quadrilaterals like the rectangle, just two measurements, the lengths of its adjacent sides, are enough to construct. Now let us learn how to construct a unique quadrilateral when following measurements are given one by one. Let us first learn to construct a quadrilateral when the length of its four sides and one diagonal are given. Construct a quadrilateral EFGH where EF is equal to 4 cm, FG is equal to 7 cm, GH 5 cm, EH 5.5 cm and EG is equal to 8 cm. Let us draw the quadrilateral step by step. Step 1. Let us first draw a triangle EFG using SSS construction condition. Draw a line segment EG equal to 8 cm with E as center and radii 4 cm and G as center and radii as 7 cm. Draw arcs to cut each other at F. Now join EF and GF. Step 2. Now we have to locate the fourth point H. This H would be on the side opposite to F with reference to EG. For that, we have two measurements. H is 5.5 cm away from E and 5 cm from G. So, with E as center, draw an arc of radius 5.5 cm and G as center, draw an arc of radius 5 cm such that they intersect at a point. Step 3. We know that H would be the point of intersection of the two arcs as H should lie on both the arcs drawn. So, mark it as H and join EH and GH to form a quadrilateral. Hence, EFGH is the required quadrilateral. Let us learn how to construct a unique quadrilateral when its three sides and two diagonal are known. Construct a quadrilateral PQRS such that sides QR is equal to 3.5 cm. PS is equal to 4.5 cm, RS is equal to 4 cm and the diagonals PR is equal to 4.5 cm and QS equal to 6 cm. We saw that when four sides and a diagonal were given, we first drew a triangle with the available data and then tried to locate the fourth point. The same technique is used here also. Let us now construct it step by step. Step 1. Draw a triangle PRS using SSS construction. Now we need to locate Q at a distance of 3.5 cm from R and 6 cm from S. Step 2. Draw an arc of radius 6 cm 
with S as center, we would get Q somewhere on the drawn arc. Step 3. Now draw an arc of radius 3.5 cm with R as center. We would get Q somewhere on this drawn arc also. Step 4. Now Q is the point of intersection of two arcs since Q lies on both the arcs. So mark their intersection as Q and join PQ and RQ to complete it as PQRS. Hence, PQRS is the required quadrilateral. Let us now learn how to construct a unique quadrilateral when its two adjacent sides and three angles are known. Given to construct a quadrilateral MNOP where sides MN is equal to 6 cm, MP is equal to 3 cm, angle M is equal to 80 degree, angle N is equal to 65 degree and angle P is equal to 120 degree. Step 1. Draw a line segment MN is equal to 6 cm using a ruler. Step 2. Now draw angle M is equal to 80 degree with the help of the protractor. Step 3. Cut an arc on this line with M as center and radius 3 cm and mark the point as P as we know MP is equal to 3 cm. Step 4. At N, draw an angle of 65 degree with the help of the protractor. Step 5. At P, draw an angle of 120 degree with the help of a protractor. Step 6. Now join the arms of these angles to meet at O. Hence, we get the required quadrilateral MNOP. Let us now learn how to construct a quadrilateral when its three sides and two included angles are known. To construct a quadrilateral EFGH, where sides EF is equal to 4 cm, FG is equal to 5 cm, GH is equal to 6.5 cm, and angle F is equal to 105 degree, and angle G is equal to 80 degree. Step 1. Draw a line segment FG equal to 5 cm using a ruler. Now draw angle F equal to 105 degree with the help of the protractor. Step 2. Cut an arc on this line with F as center and radius 4 cm. Mark the intersecting point as E. Step 3. At G, draw an angle of 80 degree with the help of the protractor. Now cut an arc on this line with G as center and radius 6.5 cm. Mark the intersecting point as H. Join EH and complete the quadrilateral EFGH. Hence, EFGH is the required quadrilateral. Till now we have seen constructing a quadrilateral using five measurements. Is there any quadrilateral which can be drawn with less number of available measurements? The following examples are such special cases. Draw a square MNOP of side 3.5 cm. Here we can see that only one measurement has been given. Actually, we have many more details with us because the figure is a special quadrilateral, namely a square. We know that each of its angles is a right angle. This enables us to draw triangle MNO using SAS condition. Then P can be easily located. Now, let us try to draw the square with the given measurements. Now construct a rhombus ABCD 
where diagonals AC is equal to 4 cm and BD equal to 5 cm. Here measurements of only two diagonal of the rhombus are given. However, since it is a rhombus, we can find more help from its properties. The diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular bisectors of one another. So, first draw AC equal to 4 cm and then construct its perpendicular bisector. Let them meet at O. Cut off 2.5 cm lengths on either side of the drawn bisector. You now get B and D. Now we can draw the rhombus based on the method described. Let us revise all that we learnt in this module on construction of quadrilaterals. 